How's everybody doing? I'm introducing the Wilson Elite 613 Assault Rifle. This is the uh, Xbox 360 version. This is a prototype. Um, I got that deal from a guy that made one called a Delta 6. Um, mine is nowhere near close to his because his you actually move the gun and it moves the thing on the TV. It's got the X, you know, uh, accelerometer chip in it and all that. So, but I will be getting to that. But this is my my version of a, um. This is I, I'm not going to call this a controller. I'm going to call it more of an accessory for the controller. I'm not the first one to do this. Um, Xbox, Wii, PlayStation, they all got guns that probably even look way that look way better than this one. Um, but I made this one here, here at home myself, and um, I'm trying to cater more to the people that don't have money to spend um, three, two, three, four hundred dollars on a uh, assault rifle controller for your games. Now, although this is not the quality that it'll be when I start selling it, this is a prototype. But when I do start selling it, these these uh are going to run you about 120 bucks um, simply because it's a lot of technology a lot of work that goes into um, making all these things functionable um, if you mail me a controller or you give me a controller then your price will only be a hundred bucks um, so I'm give you a little walkthrough real quick and again like I said this is a prototype um, even after, you know, con concluding this one, I've already thought of, you know, better ideas, better things to do to make it funner, make it better. Um, I've been playing with it for probably about two days now, actually live action playing with it. And um, I've done a lot of changes to it since it was first out of the kitchen. Um, so, and yet and still, I've got to a point with this one to where it's pretty much is what it is. There's not much more I can do or change about it um, without probably destroying it and it not working at all. So versus losing all of my hard work and trying to keep modifying it, um, I'm going to just stamp this one where it is and, um, you know, move forward with a newer one. Now, if this is one of the versions that you would like, of course, it's going to be well um, assembled. You know, you're not going to see all the gaps here. You're not going to see, um, you know, all. It's a lot of stuff on here that you're not going to see when you purchase yours. Keep in mind that I made this on the spur of a moment. Spur of a moment. Um, I really didn't have the, or I don't have the proper tools yet the proper tools to make precision cuts um you know the proper you know scutions to put around this to hide it um there's a lot of things that i i didn't have um to make it more professional looking however going forward with you all helping me out by purchasing one i will be able to develop a uh, more sleek um, versions of this assault rifle okay um, so keep in mind I just want to say this is not the finished product this is just my prototype to kind of give you an idea of what I'm working with all right so let's dive into it I'm gonna start here at the back at the back of the rifle um, this is a, a uh, pressure censored um, switch which would now this again let me let me mind you that I've tried this on Halo as well as Gears of War, um, and it does work. Uh, the layout changes a little bit as um, far as like what pulls your sights and what reloads, but the trigger is the same. The movement is the same. Just a couple of the buttons are, are, don't do exactly what it does because I catered this rifle to you know, Modern Warfare 3 is what I catered it to. So it's going to be more of your modern warfares, your ghost recons, your black ops. It's going to be more catered to those games. Um, but however, it will work with other games. It will work. 
Okay, so back to it. This is your pressure sensor. Um, you simply put this up against your chest right here, and um, this will allow you to uh, pull your sights up. Okay, and then right here, this is going to be your aim. Um, this is your, your aiming toggle switch here. Of course, here, this is your firing button. Um, here's your reload. Um, you just squeeze that uh, for your reload. Um, actually, right here in your bolt action, you uh, simply pull this bolt action back, and that will change your weapon. Um, and then, of course, here, this is your, you know, your um, forward, back, you know, left strap, right strap, whatever. This is just another directional. All these are still functional as whatever they're used for. These two buttons are deleted simply because they're they're in a um, because you do not shoot um, you do not reload or select your weapon with these buttons anymore due to they have been relocated. These two buttons still do their regular functions. Um, this still does function um, as the aim. Um, I'm sorry, I keep saying um. But in the future, I'm going to I'm going to synchronize these two um, together. That way you can have two different holding styles to maneuver where you can hold it close or hold it far out. Right now, you have to hold it far out because this thumb thumbstick does the same thing as this thumbstick. But in my next one, these two will be synced um, to give you two different uh, ways of movement. Um, what else? And I mean, that's pretty much the, that's pretty much, you know, the setup in a nutshell. Uh, you know, right here you have, you know, you have a light that does work. It's a blue light, laser beam that works. The batteries are dead in it right now. Um, you know, just to give you that feel, um, if you want to. This right here, this is a real true uh, green dot sight. I don't know if you can see the green dot in there. Let's see, get you to uh, can't get you to see the green dot, but it's it's actually a real green dot sight. Um, but I don't use it because, of course, on the game, it's not going to be pointing where you point it. So it's more or less for you to look through and kind of it's it's a feel thing. Um, so and it comes with the bipod. Um, sometimes I do sit at the kitchen table and play and sit on the bipod and play it. Um, it has a learning curve of, I give it about a good two hours. You'll be used to it. Give it a week. You'll be running and you'll be running the show with it. But, uh, again, um, this is what I have coming. The Wilson Elite 613 Assault Rifle for Xbox. Um, I can, uh, I will, and I can be doing one for the PlayStation as well. But for each, my thing is for each um, game system, I'm going to do a different um, assault rifle. Like this assault rifle will be for Xbox 360. Um, I may use the traditional AR for PlayStation. Um, so, you know, it just depends. It's going to have its own uh, assault rifle that corresponds with the gaming system. However, this is a custom build. So if you had a PlayStation and you want this AR, um, I can put it into this AR. Or if you wanted to put it into a shotgun, um, I could put it into a shotgun. Basically, whatever gun you want to use, I can use. Keep in mind that it has to be um, a rifle type. And depending on the rifle type, it's going to depend on the feel and the configuration of your controller. Because keep in mind, I am still using your controller. So I have to have the real estate. As you see, the 360 controller is a pretty massive controller. So I had to have a good bit of real estate to be able to place this controller 
on this rifle. Um, so keep in mind, uh, if you have a aerosoft gun, this all this is is an aerosoft gun, and I just pretty much gutted it out, and I um, and I modded it. Now keep in mind, if you have an aerosoft gun, you have a controller. You mail me the aerosoft gun. You mail me the controller. Then it's only eighty bucks. Okay. So if you have the gun, you have the controller, you mail it in to me or you bring it to me, then the configuration is only $80. If you have none of it, if you have nothing to work with, then the configuration uh, the configuration price is $120. If you have a controller but no airsoft gun, then the configuration price is $100. So $80 if you have everything, $100 if you have the controller, then 120 if you have nothing okay and again like I said keep in mind this is not the final product the product that you receive will be well put together very sleek very professional um, it will look good this was just basically built um, from a lot of scraps that I had sitting around at home um, with no proper tools to uh, carve with or anything so if you like it, keep in mind this was this was done from scratch with no proper tools. So imagine when I have the funds to buy the proper tools, what is it going to look like? It's going to be beautiful. Okay. So if you would like to get one of these, you can email me at elite4613 at gmail.com. Let me know with which configuration bundle you want to do. And I will return your email. Or you can simply call me at 678-599-3761. Thank you. Get you one.